Hello YouTube, it's me Dostal125 here again, and today I'm going to kind of do an unboxing here. I finally got my, um, <coughs> excuse me, my, um, Form 4 approved for a transfer of an Osprey 45 suppressor. So, got the Osprey logo on it. Not showing you uh, this side because that's got my uh, serial number and stuff on it. Got this with the uh, piston for my USP 16 by 1 left hand threads, which means that you have to thread it to the right when you put the can on, as you saw in my previous video. Anyways, <clears throat> comes with a tool for disassembly and uh, installing whichever booster slash piston uh, you want. So that's your tool for that. Comes with uh, <clears throat> some manuals and stuff like that. And their YouTube channel, YouTube uh, slash Silencer Co. Same as Twitter and Facebook. Well, Facebook is uh, Silencers are legal. Twitter is Silencer Co. And YouTube Silencer Co. Let's see, warning. Warning, if you put this on a 300 wind mag, you may kill yourself, basically. It's got some foam that was in the bottom. A little manual showing you all of what to do and everything. I don't feel like going through the paperwork crap. You can go through that once yours is approved. Comes with a... Um, <laughs> Mole pouch. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting over cold. <clears throat> Has the Osprey logo on top. And your Osprey will be contained inside. So. And, um. So here, on the bottom. Answer code, blah blah blah. It's got a lot of your info on the bottom here where the logo's at. But um piston and everything goes in the back back here. And of course that's the uh muzzle. And actually you can kind of see one of the uh pistons. Well, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but you can kind of see a piston in there. Like I said, this is 45 caliber version. So, uh, it's just a little quick overview. So, inside your box will have your suppressor, your um, mole pouch, or mole, however the hell you want to pronounce it, and your tool for taking apart the suppressor and putting different pistons and stuff in there. Mine is threaded for my USP 45. Oh, and it comes with a uh, sleeve over the box. So, uh, yeah, it's just a little overview. Like I said, finally got my uh, tax stamp proof. I've actually had this about four or five days now, roughly. So, yeah. Oh, funny thing was, uh, right after I went out and shot this, when I was shooting those videos, um, next day, my Class 3 FL dealer uh, messaged me on Facebook and said, come pick it up. So, as I was telling uh, Smart Gunner 45 that was with me there at the range, I was like, yeah, watch this. I bet you... Uh, you know, anything that we're going to go shoot it today and it's going to come in tomorrow and sure enough, that's what happened. So, just something kind of awkward that I noticed it happened. But, um, other than that, yeah, got my suppressor now. So I've got a Class 3 uh, NFA item. Back in the pouch. I'm not using my tripod right now because, uh, I don't really feel like breaking out the tripod for a desk review, sort of say, come on, there we go, so, yeah, but as I said before, that's what will be in there, and uh, the can is good for um, all subsonic loads of 45, 9mm, 40 caliber, 
I believe 357 SIG, but you may want to contact Silencer Co. on that. Um, I'm not sure about 44 Magnum Cowboy loads. I mean, I think you can run those, but again, not sure. But uh, anything 45 caliber and under, you should be able to run through here as long as it's subsonic under 1,000 feet per second. Like, I know you can put a 300 blackout through these. You even have a, um adapter that's 5 8 by 24 for um, any sort of 300 blackout runs that, or loads that you want to run. And uh, other than that, um, I believe 223 subsonic, from what I remember. Um, don't quote me on that, because I forget. But um, they do have a half by 28 um, adapter. But this is a, you have to remember this is a pistol can, so any rifle loads you run through it, you do the, run the risk of overpressure, which is a bad thing. Because what happens with over, overpressure is you can either blow up the can, or you can blow the uh, end off of the can or get what's called a baffle strike which will uh, damage your baffles inside and you'll have to send them for repair but um yeah so uh but for sure it's rated for 9 mil 40 and 45 ACP and uh I believe subsonic um 300 blackout and subsonic 223 or 556 five, rounds but again check with your uh manual check you know, with the manufacturer, pretty much. And, uh, other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next video. Oh, one more thing before I go. Um, I actually took a lot of my videos down, about, uh, 20 or 21 of them, something like that. Because, uh, I'm no longer affiliated with the, uh, whole Rosenberg drama stuff that was going on. I've just gone ahead and taken myself out of that situation, so I took down those videos. And that's why those aren't popping up, if you guys are looking for those. But um, I'm going to start doing more uh, real steel reviews for sure um, as soon as my monetary uh, situation or financial situation, I should say, allows for it. Because, like I said, I'm still looking for another job. Um, my uh, police department um, emailed me back and I've been reaccepted to try again. So I'm going to hopefully get a treadmill and, you know, train up for that because I forgot to do the running. And, of course, that's the part that I failed. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, gonna do that. Gonna do more real steel shooting. Um, and more reviews and stuff. Other than that, uh, not much more that I can think of, but yeah, I've withdrawn myself from the whole Zombie Master Ed 25 versus Black Devil Firearms or whatever the hell Lewis Rosenberg thing that was going on. So I'm no longer affiliated with that. Um, oh yeah, I'm also going to be studying for, a uh, law school hopefully gonna get into that as soon as uh, I get a job I'm gonna be saving up for the semesters that I think each semester is somewhere around sixty five hundred dollars or something like that roughly give or take but I have a friend that's gonna help me out uh, getting into that getting into college hopefully get a master's degree and then go on to more law school work so other than that um, yeah don't really, <clears throat> sorry. Don't really think uh, I've got any more to review. I'm trying to think. I think I had one more thing to show you guys in the cabinet, but I can't remember what it was. But um, so anyways, um, stay tuned for more real steel uh, stuff to come. Possibly more class three stuff. Um, I talked to class three dealer. I might actually uh, start like a sub channel with him and uh get going on reviewing class three items and if i get in the police department and get into a better position where i can um do a department um i think they're called letterhead requests i forget what they're called exactly but you basically have to be on swat or something like that for it so you have to be on the force for at least three to five years but um if i can do that then he can order some you know cooler stuff for the police department but um other than that uh yeah pretty much i'm just going to be uh studying for law school like i said studying for the police department and doing real steel reviews so kind of a little update plus uh showing off suppressor and uh 
So I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Delta 125 signing out.